Sa lukuyang nagsasagawa ng press conference ang NDRRMC, panoorin po natin. Uh, these are just the observed rainfall. What we are having right now are rainfall uh, due to the thunderstorm activity that we are experiencing every day over Visayas and Mindanao. Malay-balay uh, had a rainfall of more than 100 yesterday and this is just due to thunderstorm and the intertropical convergence. So next slide. Uh, these are the observed rainfall for the past five days. Uh, these are the stations which have received more than 100 millimeters of rain for the past five days. This is not yet due to the typhoon, typhoon Luchoy. Next slide. Uh, this is to show you the expected rainfall to be expected on, uh, I think this is uh, Friday, Friday morning and Friday afternoon. So expect the western sections of the Philippines, particularly those in uh, Mindoro area, to be affected by uh, moderate to occasional heavy rainfall. Next slide. And we will be in Metro Manila, we'll be expecting uh, moderate to heavy rainfall also on Saturday. So this is the one that we need to prepare for, the heavy rain, moderate to heavy rainfall over the western sections of Luzon, including an NCR by the weekend, by Saturday. Next slide. Uh, these are just the um, uh, predicted rainfall using the WARF model and the global spectral model. The one on the left is uh, actually a conservative uh, estimate, but on the right, the WRF that the Pagasa is running is more on the exaggerated uh, estimate. But we should look into the extreme to be prepared. Next slide. And these are the stations which will receive this uh, more or less the higher rainfall. So Palawan and uh, somewhere in Lawag has uh, about a uh, uh, high, high number of, or more rainfall to be uh, expected on uh, tomorrow. Uh, today and tomorrow. Next slide. And this will be for the next uh, day. That will be Thursday morning up to Friday morning. Let us focus on the output on the right, which is the WARF model. So you can see the yellow patches. These are the areas which will receive uh, the more uh, concentrated rainfall. And this is on the western section of the country. Next slide. And this is the estimated amount of the rainfall expected. So it is over Palawan area, uh, which will be receiving the heaviest amount of rainfall. Next slide. And, and this will be on Friday to Saturday. So this is, as you can see, the Mindoro area is really uh, expected uh, to uh, experience the heavy rainfall as well as southern Luzon include including Metro Manila. So expect Saturday to be rainy for us and this is due to the habagat which is uh, enhanced by Typhoon Butchoy. Next slide. Uh, so what to expect? Butchoy is expected to exit the Philippine area of responsibility by Friday uh, morning uh, up to about noon time and uh, we will be experiencing uh, light rains, light to moderate rains starting today and tomorrow. But towards the weekend, we will be expecting moderate to occasionally heavy rainfall. Uh, Saturday is the most uh, extreme rainfall estimate that we have. So let's prepare for Saturday. And this is due to the enhanced habagat by Typhoon Bochoy. Next slide. So, of course, we need to prepare for some uh, flash floods and landslides over the western coast of the Philippines, particularly over uh, Bataan, Sambales, Pangasinan, and Benguet uh, for landslides because this is a mountainous area and it is expected that a heavy, moderate to heavy rainfall will also be experienced over this mountainous area. A uh, gale warning is uh, issued this morning to the northern seaboard and eastern seaboard of Luzon because of the enhanced uh, southwest monsoon. 
we have no public storm warning signal, uh, tropical cyclone warning signal over the eastern Luzon. This is the reason why we have this uh, gale warning. And uh, our fisher folks are alerted not to venture uh, over the sea because of this uh, uh, high waves that is expected from the monsoon. So, next slide. I think this is uh, our information. But when we have had rainfall, we have, uh, through the uh, MGB, we have identified the, uh, uh, this will be given to you, the, the areas which are prone to landslides and uh, flooding due to the expected rainfall. So we are, we are coordinating and we are working together with MGB and that. Ang narinig po ninyo ay yung uh, live na update mula sa NDRRMC.